I'm supposed to be filming a video scene today of a granny in Vegas. Problem is, I don't know if you can hear that. That sound? That's the space heater. When I got up today, it was wicked cold. There's snow everywhere. So, how am I going to film a scene in Vegas in the Northeast on a spring day? It's supposed to be spring, but it's snowing. I'm going to have to basically build a green room today. This is not working. I'm going to go to Home Depot. I'm going to get some drywall. I'm going to put the drywall up here. And there's a special paint that they used to sell that's been discontinued. Uh, I'm going to get a formula for that. I'm going to show you the formula, so if you ever want to make a green screen yourself, you can. Uh, it's time to go to Home Depot. Let's go. Wow, look at that tree. It's starting to turn green. See, here it is. It's, it's, this is my problem. You know, you get the snow, you get the cold air. It's going to be spring, like, in a few days. Up here, winter really likes to hang on to the bitter end. We made it to the Home Depot. Ah, oh, Home Depot. Here we come. And we're going to make a green screen today. So here is the Home Depot formula. That's that one. Can you see it? I started putting the pieces of drywall in. So now I just taped the joints. I have put joint compound over top of the joints. So today when I got up, it was still wet. So I put a fan, as you can hear, put a fan there to speed up the process. I'll tell you what, the fan really helped. The fan dried it more in half an hour than it did all night. See? You just you just sand all over. Piece of cake. The best part about sanding joint compound dust is that your wives love it when you get powder all over the room. Okay, so I'm painting. What do you think? This is like weather person painting. You just take your roller and you roll the paint on the wall. You see how easy? Honey, you need to be on a home improvement show. Look at that. Okay, so I finished painting the wall. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't mean to lecture you guys, but um, if you look at it, the reason why my painting turns out to be so perfect is because I'm very neat. I'm very careful not to spill a drop anywhere it's not supposed to go. If you look, uh, you'll notice no splotches, no splashes. Uh, I don't even have paint on the floor. I don't even need a drop cloth because I'm so careful. And you know, maybe you guys aren't up to that level. But with a little practice, maybe you'll get there one day. I'm not an expert painter. Well, almost. But the reason that you want to be tidy also is you don't want that much to be cleaning up later. Okay, so the green screen is done. Um, I did the best I could. Uh, I can still see the seam right here, but, um, you know, I did the best I could. You don't have to be the best joint compound drywall person to make a green screen. Um, you really don't. So, let's uh, do a quick scene here, and then we'll put it in Final Cut and see if this thing works. How about, okay, let's see if a baseball scene works. Ready? Not bad. Imagine if you could be magically whisked away to Hawaii. Huh? Oh, no, no. Better than that. I'm in Delaware. Now it's time to load that video footage. See if this green screen actually works. Not bad. Imagine if you could be magically whisked away to Hawaii. Oh no, no, better than that. I'm in Delaware. <laughs>